Welcome to SMC Technologies. I'm Mirza, the founder of SMC. And today I want to show you this uh, test setup over here. It's a wheel hub motor for electric scooter application. Usually these motors are used in combination with hall sensor feedback. Um, yeah, as you can see here in this test setup, um, this is not needed. The hall sensor cable is not connected. So we are driving completely uh, sensorless. Um, yeah, using our solution, it's uh, possible to control the motor in the whole speed range, including standstill and uh, very low speeds, as we can see it here. And uh, at the same time, we have no restrictions regarding the capable load. Um, additionally, we are using uh, field-oriented current control, so we have sinusoidal phase currents. And yeah, like this, we have uh, two main uh, advantages uh, if we compare it with the Hall sensor solution. So first of all, we are saving some system costs as the Hall sensors are not needed. And uh, the second point is the improved control behavior in the very low speed area. So let's take a closer look at the test setup. So first of all, we have the evaluation inverter system over here. It's from ST Microelectronics. It's capable of driving uh, 30 amps of phase current and it integrates a uh, low side uh, shunt current measurement. Um, additionally, for analyzing the system, I have plugged in these three current probes in the three phases of the motor to show you the phase currents at the oscilloscope. Then over here and the, on the monitor, we have uh, online signal debugging. So the first window shows the Q-axis current in ampere and therefore also the torque of the motor. The second window shows the frequency in Hertz, so the speed, and the position uh, in the third window, it's the electrical rotor angle in degrees. Yeah, the last point of uh, the test setup is this braking system. So we can uh, increase the friction of the system and therefore uh, the load of the motor. So let's take a look at this. The torque should increase. And as you can see here, we are right now driving with a Q current of approximately 10 amps. You can also see it in the, in the um, on the oscilloscope. You can also go further and block the motor completely to the maximum of 30 amps and release it. Um, yeah, in today's video we will investigate some uh, yeah, different operation conditions and we will take a closer look especially on uh, some operation points that are very demanding for sensorless motor control. In the following video clip we will see the performance of the sensorless speed controller at a very low speed of 0.01 Hz, that's 0.6 RPM. In this operation point, the friction of the mechanical system is almost constant. So the motor has to work with a Q current of approximately 10 Ampere. On the oscilloscope, we can see the sinusoidal phase currents measured by the current probes. Now we will get a closer look at the smooth rotating motor. And here we get a view on the signal debugging tool. In the lower window we see the electrical rotor angle which is moving very slowly. And in the upper window we see the constant Q current of 10 Ampere. Now we will have a look at the performance at complete standstill. 
The speed controller will try to hold the speed to 0 Hz while the load is increased manually by hand. Right now we can see that the torque is increased into the negative direction to the maximum of minus 30 ampere. And now we see some further dynamic changes of the load in both directions. The next clip will show the drive operating at a constant target speed of 2 Hz while the friction of the system is increased, forcing the motor to stop. A further advantage of going sensorless in this application is that we can reach a higher reliability and failure safety, as we are not using any mechanical position sensor as feedback, and in this case no sensor can break and lead to a faulty system behavior. Now we will have a look at the behavior for changing the direction. The target speed is set from 1 Hz to minus 1 and back to 1 Hz. At the beginning we will see the movement with a higher acceleration ramp and then the acceleration ramp will be decreased so that we see a very slow transition. The motor under investigation in this video is a very challenging one regarding sensorless motor control. This applies especially for the low speed area where a signal injection based method is used to evaluate the anisotropy. The DQ inductances of the motor show a very strong dependency on the rotor angle and on the applied load. This is caused by some geometrical effects and especially on very strong saturation effects. For higher loads, the so-called anisotropy vanishes and changes its direction. Conventional signal injection based methods are not able to provide a stable control for this case as the observability for the rotor position is lost. Our sensorless solution is able to overcome this issue. We will have a closer look at this in one of our next videos. Here we will analyze the characteristics of this motor in more detail. So stay tuned if this topic is of interest to you. We come to an end with this last video clip where we will see some dynamic speed changes from standstill to maximum frequency and back to standstill. That's it for today's video. I hope it was interesting for you. SMC Technologies is offering uh, this sensorless solution as a software library. If you are interested or if you have any question, feel free to contact us. And see you next time.